Hey everyone, it's Steve from the garden. And welcome to my June garden tour. As the season's really warming up, everything's really starting to grow now. So let's take a look and see how it's doing. First up, we'll take a look at the onions and the tomatoes. Now the onions are starting to bulb up, as you'll see down here. It's starting to get some size on them. So I have also stopped fertilizing those. Now these are the determinate tomatoes and I needed to put like another level of string on there for the Florida weave. But if we zoom in, you can see we have at least one tomato in there. And we have some more over here. These are the San Marzanos and you can see I got tomatoes forming. Got some more down there. So these are doing pretty well. I've been tying them to the post, as you can see here with the string. Except for these ones down here, which are already on the string. Now I have to say, this string system is much easier to maintain than tying them to the post. These ones are the Amish paste. Now these ones kind of get funky looking, but they grow like crazy. And we got tomatoes forming on here too. This is the garlic bed. And I've been cutting off the scapes on here. So I've been just coming in and I'll pull these right out and snap them off. Now these will, the garlic will be ready in about another two or three weeks. Now we're getting into the corn. This is my third planting of corn and if you watched my video a couple weeks ago about how I made a change in how I planted these, well, my germination on these did turn out much better. And on here is the second planting of corn. And the third planting. Now the second planting of corn, I need to come back and mound compost around here to hill them up. Just kind of like what I did with the corn over here. Now some of these corn stalks are getting pretty big. I mean, it's much bigger than my thumb. And I did plant pinto beans around the bottom of these. So you can see those all coming up. Around here they have a saying that you want your corn to be knee high by the 4th of July. Well, my corn's already more than knee high and it's June 16th. So I think it's doing pretty well. Here I got the broccoli bed and I got one spot open and then I got my young broccolis in here with the little bit older ones in the back which would be on the north side. And I get over here to the broccolis that are just starting to form their heads. And we got ones that are a couple of weeks older like here. Same with this spot more of them and then I got the ones over here that are maybe another week away from harvest and then I got my potatoes growing in between here uh, between these broccoli plants and then in the back here these are the oldest ones and these heads are now ready for harvest I'm gonna grab those now the broccoli are ready for harvest I'm gonna go ahead and grab those and I just cut the stem I'm at an angle. I'll use these for dinner tonight. And there we go. This is the raspberry bed. The bees have been just loving these raspberries going to flower. This thing is like a jungle on this side. I'll raise you up so you can see. The way this thing is growing, it's just going to be a massive harvest, I think. This is the raspberry bed from a different angle. Again, the bees have just been working these raspberries. Now I have like a little area that's kind of like not grown as much, but it is starting to fill in. And then this is the other half and the bees have, like I said, just working this out. And right in here, 
you got raspberries are forming. So it won't be but maybe two or three weeks before they're ready for picking. This is the potato row. These are all grown in containers. Now this container, uh, this was some store-bought potatoes. They had started to sprout, so I threw them in there. And this is a German butter ball, but this tub had a drainage issue, so I had to drill some more holes in it. And the plant is starting to recover now. But all these potatoes are doing pretty well. And the back half here is all done in root pouches. And you can see the wind's kind of blowing some of this down. I really need to create like a little trellis system to kind of keep all the vegetation managed. But so far they are looking good. These are the in-ground potatoes and much like the container potatoes, they also need to be trellised up to help manage the vegetation. And I do get a spot here where the wind kind of blew it down. And this is the Alma paprika peppers. And on this side, this is the Hungarian style paprika. You can see we got some nice peppers forming there. I do have flowers planted in here to help bring in some pollinators. So I just got some petunias and some red sage. I do have potatoes popping up in this bed. I did plant potatoes in this bed last year. And if they start interfering with the peppers, I'm going to have to cut some of that vegetation back. And this is the celery. And if you look at it, it is now getting... It's probably around eight inches, some of it's 10 inches tall, which means it's time for me to start blanching this with wood chips. Now what's funny is that the dirt I dug out for this trench, I had put into a bucket and I got potatoes growing in this bucket now. Um, I didn't see any potatoes in there when I put the dirt in, but there it is. Over here, this is the Santa Fe peppers. And I got some California Wonder along with some Cubanelles, which is what this is. This is the peach tree. And you can see up here, I have peaches forming in there. Along with a couple more up to here. I haven't counted the number of peaches on this tree, but if I was to do an estimate, I'd say there's probably 15 to 20 peaches on there. So. Considering how young the tree is, there'll be plenty for this first year of harvest. This is one of the Concord grapes. And right below that, I have uh, this rose. I have no idea what kind of rose this is. It came with the house, except I did move it like a couple times and it survived all that. So, some lavender, lilies. This other grapevine here, this is a uh, Reliant. This is a red grape. And then over here on the end, I have a Niagara, which is a green grape. Now, if you zoom in, you can see all the little tiny grapes are starting to form. In this bed, we got the beets, uh, some lettuce. These are baby doll watermelon, zucchini. This is carrots, I'm letting go of the seed. I got some tall red sage. More lettuce. The seat we just got did a really a big number on this older lettuce. You can see it's starting to bolt. Uh, another zucchini. And these are butternut squash. That's it for the garden tour today. There will be a lot more coming as the season progresses and the harvests are coming in. So be sure to check back. Until next time, hope you enjoyed. Hope you got something out of this. And we'll see you on the next one. Jason and Colleen over at Clive's Conundrum Garden were talking about no mow May. I didn't mow the grass last week because I knew it was going to get hot and I didn't want the lawn to get fried. So I left it go and you can just see all the clover that's flowering in here. And the bees are going nuts over that too.